Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're continuing my series building a game from start to finish by myself. UI, scripting, building, everything that uh, a game includes, okay? So we're gonna keep on going with this series. Today will be a building episode where we will be making the winter zone and Kirsten will be helping us come up with some obstacle ideas. So here's what we have so far. Some little jumps right here. Then we have this jump and this spinning. I did add a like lava type beam over the top of this just just to look cool really like no other uh no other uh, nothing else will i don't know what i'm saying for that i added a lava beam and then we got these guys you just jump over very very simple this one uh these two rotate at the same speed this one rotates faster so that's a little obstacle as well and then these are just like the skinny beams you can balance on there's a couple fun little like cheat codes you know like boom boom like these little ones you can you can do them if you want to and i think the end is the hardest part like doof Doof, doof, doof. And uh, I also have to fix these beams. So let me try to do that. They're just a little off. So let me put this guy right here. Make sure he's okay over here as well. He's not. Let's grab this attachment, move it back. And I really, I really just want these beams looking nice. This one, the part is just a little bit bigger, but I don't think that is the biggest deal. It looks a little cool. So let's just get it right down to the, the bottom. And I guess we could scale the part in a little bit. All right, so now we don't have a problem for that one. This one does have a little bit of an issue uh, where it's like overhanging on this side and like not uh, not good on this side. So let's just scale this in. Uh, that didn't work at all. We'll go like this and I'm just going to have to make the beam bigger, I believe. Beam, let's go width. Should we just try like 51? I don't know. Then it's like bigger on like both sides. So how do I get just... That's going to have to work, honestly. Like it's ugly. Maybe I should keep the beam on a part on top of it and then fix it that way. But for now, I'm not... Not really gonna worry about it let's make that back to how it was cool uh i'll actually scale it a little bit this way just so it doesn't look that bad oh now it looks really bad all right this this is as good as we're gonna get for now and then uh the ones under the map don't really matter too too much so for the winter zone we're gonna switch it this one we were going this way uh the next one i think we're gonna go like zigzag this way so i'm gonna go ahead and start building that and we'll be right back all right guys so here's the lineup we have for this we have a couple that are just gonna be like really short obstacles i'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing for the obstacles themselves yet Kirsten's gonna come up with like probably all of those ideas or at least I hope so and uh we need to add our texture because right now we have a nice texture in the spawn let's go ahead and add one we do have this snowflake one right here so we're gonna add this to our base plate in the winter zone boom uh also next scripting episode I think I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the checkpoint system and uh and hope for the best really like I don't even know I did throw these together a little too quick and carelessly so I'm gonna fix them up real quick and I'm gonna decorate this zone right now and then by that time kirsten should be all good to help us with uh you know the actual obstacles themselves what are we going to be doing what's going to be the challenge and who knows since she doesn't really play roblox she might have some like outside the box ideas that uh you don't see in most obby games so i'm pretty excited all right guys zone decoration is fully done we have trees we have snowmen Whoa! and we have a snow globe and a kirsten and a kirsten uh we also added a snow particle but guys we gave each of these snowmen like little things that doing so like a lot of them are just snowmen you know like hey hey this one's greeting you and this one's just chilling but these guys over here like these guys are building a snowman which i thought was awesome these guys are a couple okay really should we give one of them a blue hat band i think we yeah. should because you know we don't want to get them confused and stuff so there we go hey guys we got this little snow globe right here looking awesome and then we got this <laughs> I love this guy. He's definitely my favorite. And then, uh, oh, wait, we can't forget about this guy either. The, the, the little tree snowman. But there we go. The zone's fully decorated. And then, of course, your boy had to get a little plug-in. You know, use code Intel Plays. If you guys are buying Robux or Premium, uh, help your boy out a little bit, okay? Yeah, gotta get a little plug. It, it is what it is. Uh, but Kirsten and I are now gonna start thinking of obstacle ideas. We'll check back in when we get all of those done. All right, guys, Hi. we... Oh, my... Kirsten, that was ear-wrenching, might I add. You're that was... not even that loud. Like, they can't that, even hear me. Yeah, but that was quite ear-wrenching. Guys, here's what we got going on. Uh, I do need to unlock this use star code thing and then, you know, uh, anchor it and then lock it because, you know, hey, I don't ever anchor stuff. It's a horrible thing. And I probably don't even need to lock it, actually. <laughs> um, so, guys, let's delete these guys. 
It is time to show you the new obstacles, okay? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, so I'm gonna go beside them, though, because through testing these obstacles, I realized I'm absolutely garbage at obstacle courses. <laughs> Uh, and I had a beautiful Kirsten laughing next to me the whole time. Uh, but it's all good. So check this out. Uh, every obstacle plate has a conveyor on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all can't do this. But, uh, so check it out. Everything has a conveyor on it. So, like, if you step on this, if you step on this, boom. Like, it's, it's a conveyor all the way down, guys. So that'll be cool and kind of hard. But then we have these. I will be switching these around by the time you play the game. But for demonstration, anything with a black part on top has a conveyor that will throw you backwards. So if you were to go like this and like, oh, boom, then, then you're dead, okay? Now, I will be switching those by the time the game releases. So no sneak peeks for you guys, okay? Then we have another conveyor goes straight across this way at a different speed than the first one Just got to jump through these pretty simple this very classic two of them don't work one of them do right here We have another conveyor going backwards, which uh, just is more annoying than hard if I'm gonna be honest with you guys Luckily for everyone who's gonna play this game when it comes out there will be a skip stage uh, Thing for like 15 robux to support your mans. Okay, so check it out I hate I had to. I had to. Also, we made this guy more creepy. Like, a, ugh, gross. Uh, check it out, guys. You can't pass. If you're jumping, though, that's how you're gonna get through. And you just literally have to keep jumping. If you touch any of these icicles, you will die. Uh, so check that out. Boom. It's, it's kind of tragic. And then the last obstacle, as you can see, is just like a rotating disc that you have to jump onto. Like, boom, and jump off. It rotates. If you didn't see, guys, it rotates this way. All right? Just... Okay. All right, I don't know what I just did. I just closed like three programs on my computer. But as long as we're still recording, which we are, we're good. Check it out, guys. Here's the game so far. I, th I actually really like how the eyes zone turned out. Uh, Kirsten had the bright idea of snowmen. Uh, and then we just gave them some personalities. And then the snow globe was an awesome idea as well. If you guys don't know how to do this and want to know, uh, just grab your outside circle and flip all the faces in Blender. It'll make it so you can't see the outside, you see the inside. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll just, I'll just, oh wait, we have to move the snowman with him too all right so guys that is gonna wrap up episode three of making my own game from start to finish i hope you guys did enjoy up next will be a scripting episode and i think it's gonna be trying to tackle checkpoints uh which i'm like i'm looking forward to and i'm not because i just don't know what i'm doing but i think it'll be fun uh kirsten any last words um y'all really can't hear me but yeah that's about it all right she said y'all really can't hear me but that's about it guys make sure to <laughs> like comment and subscribe have a great like 800 likes. Kirsten, Kirsten, listen, listen, them. listen. We're not going to get 800 likes because we're just not liked that much. Yet, yet. Can it's I a yet. Get like, can I please get like 250? 250. I think we could do 250, guys. That is going to wrap it up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later. It's been Kirsten. Oh, God. You got to add that ear wrenching. It's been Kirsten every <laughs> video. <laughs>